congratulations on the film. It's very, very funny stuff. Oh, Thank thanks. you. It's obviously gone down a treat in the States. It's gone down really well critically and, and financially. But it's a trick here, especially for you, Chris, in writing the script or co-writing the script, fleshing out supporting characters as much as the main characters. Normally with films that are like surrounding weddings, there's a desperate singleton and, and that's it. I, I love ensemble um, cast. Like One of my favorite films of all time is Airplane. And to me, that's like the perfect example of, of just these small little parts that have their own funny thing to do and we really wanted we really wanted to do that. And was it killed like for you to go and run with stuff then Chris? Were you was the room for you then like was it was it all in the script or was there did Paul allow you guys to kind of go off script a little bit? And well the script was great so you know we did try and get as much of that as we could and uh, but we had a bit of a rehearsal process and I think that once we met and all that and we kind of worked on bits and pieces that kind of became into the script as well and then in the actual shooting process yeah we had loads of fun and loads of freedom and such a bloody good time. <laughs> we did have a good time. And what happens when you've got so many funny people in a room, though? Is there ever a fear that this could cancel each other out? Or is it just No, constant? I feel like the crew maybe was just like, shoot <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very supportive and like, you know, if someone did something funny, you'd be like, oh yeah, do that thing again. And it wasn't like a competitive thing. I say, for me, I, I, didn't, I didn't have the pleasure of working with all the girls. I just yeah. had, oh, I had Kristen name. all to myself. And you got a little ham in there. I got a little ham and a little burn. Yes. I got ham burn. <laughs> <laughs> ham burn. <laughs> it's ham burn is when you make love with a giant piece of ham. Speaking of John Ham, both you guys are doing a movie with John Ham and his wife at the moment, or you've just done a movie with John Ham and his wife. Is that how he ended up in Bridesmaids and you guys ended up in, in the movie he's doing at the moment? Was there a crossover there? Um, well, Bridesmaids was before that, yeah. and I, I'd worked with him a few times when he had hosted Oops, SNL, SNL. Um, and we became really good friends, and uh, yeah, we got so lucky to have him in this part, because he's, he's so funny, and a lot of people don't really see him as that, because they just know him as, you know, Don Draper. Uh, and do you have to be the antithesis of that, and do you feel you have to go, right, this guy's just a complete bastard? I just need to be, I need to up the charm to 11 here. Well, I and wasn't, you know, I was trying kind of not to be conscious of the trying to be charming thing, because that always looked like the most... It was just like accidental. Most, it was just, just naturally. I was trying not to be charming. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> no, but well, I'll tell you, the one thing I was conscious of, and I, I didn't, John, what John was doing really didn't come into it, it was more just kind of to make sure to not get in the way too much, you know, and to try, <laughs> yeah, to try and not, you know, be very gaggy or be, you know, just let it be natural and yeah. kind of react in, in the moment. And when a movie opens, and like it, the movie's obviously done extremely well, is it even more satisfying when it does well, word of mouth, and it does, it's kind of holding on? People are obviously going to see it more than once. Oh, yeah. So I mean, guys, the fact that people are seeing it more than once, I mean, that's, I, I can't even verbalize. That's, like, that's amazing. There's yeah. not a word for it. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's crazy. Because you sit down and you write, and you just think you're doing this little thing, and, and you never know what's going to happen. You never know if it's really going to get made or... You know, and then here we are. It's it's crazy. And you feel like there's there might be for you know, might be more of it an outlet now for female led comedies as well, where they can be really funny too. They don't have to be bridesmaids. Or they don't have to be. They don't have to be twenty seven dresses. Um, I don't know. That's if if this opens doors for women, that that would be amazing. It it wasn't um, written in a way to make any sort of you know statement or you know guys get to do this now. It's our turn. But um. That whole male-female comedy thing was is something that's been brought up a lot since the movies come out, but we didn't really think about it in the yeah. writing. And I don't know. I think there's a lot of funny women out there now, and have been for years and years and years. And there's funny yeah. Irishmen too. And yeah. Chris is, I think, one of the first com com comedic Irishmen anyway to kind of to hit it big in the states. How did you find your humor translating in the states? And was, did you obviously did you pick up on it straight away? Is there is there a big difference? I, I didn't yeah, notice have, a we difference. Have, we have a similar sense of humor, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that Irish people and American people have a very similar sense of humor. Like, more similar than Irish and British or British and American. Yeah. I would say. Because it's kind of... The British thing can be sometimes, you know, without being too stereotypical, a little bit tight-lipped and a little bit, you know, all about trying to be awkward. Whereas I think Irish and American humor is a little bit more open and a, a little bit kind of more fun at the edges. And, and you're really flying at the moment. You're getting a lot of offers on the back of this. You think obviously, good, because yeah. the movies are doing really well. So could we possibly see you host an SNL next season? <gasps> that would be amazing. That Light bulb just went amazing. off there in Kristen's head, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's really the, that's really the, the bar for comedians, isn't it, that to host would be, SNL? 
I'm probably a couple of few jobs away from that, but with, you know, <laughs> I, l I do love the show. Okay, guys, well, and I love to sing and dance. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Send this tape to NBC. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks Thank so much. You. For Thank you.